Shalom to the 12 tribes scattered all over the world. This is Jonathan from Kingdom Covenant Keepers. And it's another glorious day to praise the Most High Yah. I give him all the honor he is always doing all things. For without him, I would have nothing but be nothing. For without him, I would not know the truth. I truly am I would not know who he truly is one of the things that the Most High Yah wanted me to speak on has to deal with or in a continuation of something that I spoke about a few weeks ago does Hasatan, does Satan deceive and if he does then who and a lot of people don't understand nor know that the devil, that many call him that, he doesn't just come about in your life just to just attack you or to cause bad things to happen in your life. The most, one of the most important things to the devil is to keep you from ever getting the truth about who the Most High Yah is. Another one of his tactics is to make sure that you serve him and worship him and him alone. The Most High Yah has told his people that we are to worship him and him alone that we are not to give our love to another but when we look at what we've been taught traditionally for many of us who live in these United States has been the traditions of men and has been the traditions of their culture which has steeped over, or should I say, has come over rather simply, and has taken over in our culture that we have forgotten, that we don't know, we don't observe, we don't pay attention to, and we have been living and doing according to their culture. And that is one of the things that the devil will make sure to keep you from ever knowing that truth of who you are because when you discover who you are then you'll start to understand that the things that have been given to you from this society that it doesn't serve you well it does not give you what you need it will never cause you to understand who you are why because they labeled us and told us you are African American because before they would call you uh, black or they'll put that on paperwork now to this day when you're filling out applications. But they labeled us. They won't label us and say Hebrew. No, African American. It's supposed to mean black, but what about the African who comes from so-called Africa, who is Caucasian, known as a South African, let's say, moves to America, gets citizenship here in America, and he becomes African American. What does he check off on his job application? Will it still mean or give the perception in those who had him fill the application out that he is black, so-called black, we're not crayons, we're not a color. We are a people. And when you understand that as a people that you have an Elohim who cares enough about you to give you all kind of rights, all kind of privileges, all kind of blessings as we call it 
all kind of opportunities, all kind of doors to be open for you. All kind of temptations that call, come your way, creating you in you a resolve to where you can deal with the pressures of life and you don't crumble at everything that comes your way. A covenant that's been given to his people so that they can understand the relationship that he has with his people and how as a bride and him being the bridegroom that he would take care of his bride. He has a role to play, the Most High Yah, and so do we. But we've been giving so many things from these nations that don't bring us closer to the Most High Yah. That does not allow us to know Him. They're not going to teach you that truth. They're not going to reveal that to you because it... <laughs> If they did that and they lost control of you, they therefore now have lost control of the world. Why? Because our people once controlled and ruled the world. We were the strongest and most dominant nation because we had the Most High Yah, our Elohim, destroying our enemies. There were times of where the children of Yasharal, they didn't even have to fight. They just had to show up to the fight. The Mosiah would at times take our enemies and cause them to fight amongst each other and to kill one another. And the children of Yasharal would just be standing there watching them destroy one another. That's when we serve Yah. That's when we honored Yah. That's when we kept the commandments. That's when we follow the Torah. But see, when we got away from that and we thought that we can do things on our own and we want to be like the other nations and we want to have all the fun that they have. We want to live like them and act like them and do everything that they do. It has caused a major divide. And they're going to keep that divide. But see, they, <laughs> there are those who understand script. And they understand our curse that has come upon us because of our ancestors and what they have done. They understand how we can come out of that curse. They understand that through Abraham himself, that through his seed, that the whole earth would be blessed. Well, who's the seed should be the question. Who is the seed that came through Abraham? Christianity teaches that it's them. That's not true. Or they say they are the seed of Abraham. That's not true. That's not scripturally true. And when you don't want to follow and do what's in scripture, then how is it that you can say and make a statement that's not true and say that is true. No, the Most High Yah chosen people came through the seed of Abraham. The 12 tribes came out of Abraham. The 12 tribes came out of Yaakov, known as Jacob. Jacob came out of the seed of Isaac. Isaac came out of the seed of Abraham. One seed, not many seeds, one. And since the one seed would become the ones who would bless the whole earth. That one seed <clears throat> of people would also control the seasons and the times of the earth that most people don't know. That one seed would be the ones that other nations will look at and say, wow, what such a mighty Allah Elohim that these people have and what great laws that they have and that they would desire it. But then the flip happened, the switch happened to where people did what? Our people I'm talking about, what did they do? They decided to follow the ways of the other nations even after the Most High Yah told them, don't follow them. Don't do what they do because it's going to be to your destruction. 
what our ancestors kept doing and kept going and kept leaving from the Most High Yah. The Most High Yah told them, I'm going to send you into captivity. What happened? They get sentenced into captivity. Then what happens? They in captivity. They start moaning and groaning because of the captivity. The Most High Yah sends a deliverer, brings them out of captivity. They excited, come back to serve the Most High Yah. After a while, the deliverer dies. And then they decide they're going to return back to the other nations and follow them again. What you think happens? They get sent back into captivity again, right? It was a repeated cycle that our ancestors kept doing to where Yah said, okay, this is the final captivity. He wasn't going to keep going back and forth with us. He said, you know what? I'm going to leave y'all there. And that's exactly what has happened to where the Most High Yah spoke prophetically through his prophets that we will be scattered amongst all throughout the earth and that in these different lands we will be taken captive. That's what's in the scripture. That's the seed. The seed is not Christianity. The seed is not no religion. Excuse me. The seed came from one man that the Most High Yah made a promise to. Let's see, you missed the promise that was made to Noah. <laughs> see, you missed the promise that was made to Adam. You missed what's spoken from the origins and the beginnings of the book because even as what I learned through Christianity is that you start to read from the book of Matthew or the book of John. And you're told not to really truly concern yourself with the Old Testament because that was for the Jews. Once again, how do you cause a divide and say the Old Testament is for the Jews and yet the one that you call Jesus was a so-called Jew and he followed the Torah? How are you following him if you are going to do the opposite of what he did? And that is what the devil does is causes deception. He causes a divide. And so many people don't understand the divide nor see the divide because they are so captivated by the other nation's deities. They are so captivated by the other nation's festivals. They are so captivated by the other nation's holidays. They are so captivated by everything opposite out of the will of the Most High Yah. And then we wonder why we struggle as a people, why it's hard to overcome as a people, why we see some of us rise up because, see, they sell their souls also to the devil. You see those who say, oh, don't call me no Hebrew, like it's some denigration, like you done cursed at them. Oh, don't say that to me. I ain't from Africa. Not understanding that word Africa was never the name of our homeland. Not knowing that his name after Africanus, not knowing any of the origins of anything, and not knowing how things were changed and how the Most High Yah's land was parted, and it was named after these other nations. Not understanding any of these origins and these deceptions. But see, that's what Yah told us what was going to happen to us in script if we walked away from him but who's going to teach you that who's going to tell you what's truly in the scripture not give you no motivational speech not pump you up for the moment not to psychologically analyze you and give you what you need which is a little morsel of bread not enough to sustain you not enough to bring about a change in you not enough to cause your life and your family's life to truly change to where you come to truly know who the Most High Yah is. The Most High Yah sent me to give you life-changing word. Life-changing word will cause you to return back, repent and return back to serve the Most High Yah. Just like I had to do. Just like many other Hebrews that are have been awakened had to do. Just like many who have heard the messages that I've spoke 
have decided to do. Just like the thousands that's going to hear this message and the millions that's going to hear this message, that's going to return back to the Most High Yah. Because his word will get out to the masses and his word will get out to Yah's people. Why? Because Yah will make sure that it gets into the hands of his people. Because it's very important. This is life changing. But see, when they tell you, follow us, do what we tell you to do. You see, for some reason, the mo many of us who are up in age, 50, 40, 50 years old and over, for some reason, we seem to forget our history about our ancestors ever being enslaved. I know they give us that foolishness called Black History Month. It doesn't do justice. Why? Because even in that month, they don't ever tell you about the ports of Judah and Benin. They don't ever take you back across the waters to see the origins about how you truly, our ancestors were truly brought into slavery. They will never tell you the truth about knowing who we were and are still to this day as a people. See, if it's truly going to be our history, then let us tell it. But yet they still tell our history. And we seem to have forgotten all of the important facts. We seem to have forgotten that if one of our ancestors even attempted to learn how to read, that their eyes were burned out of their skulls, that their hands were chopped off. Some of them had their tongues cut out of their mouths. But see, we don't know that history why is it that we don't know that history and then they say oh no we're going to give you our Christian religion well what many of y'all don't know is about the Spanish Inquisition which happened in the 1500s where they massacred and slaughtered Hebrews who did not convert over to their Christian religion hung babies, burned babies, burned mothers. Children would jump into the fire when they saw their parents being burned because they did not want to live that life that did not come from Yah. But yet, in this country, in the world, 2.2 billion plus estimated people in the world who call themselves Christians. That's the religion that they gave our people. And giving us a religion that separates us from the Most High Yah is what the devil wanted from the very beginning of the origins. When you go back to the origins in the book of Genesis, you'll find the story of Adam and Chua. Her name is not Eve. That name Eve does not mean the mother of all living, even though they try to say that it does. It does not. Even in the garden to where they were given commandment to do what? Simply don't eat of the fruit of the tree, of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Don't eat of it because surely the day that you eat of it, you're going to die. That was the commandment that the Most High Yah gave them. <clears throat> what did the devil do? See, Chua was standing there gazing and looking at the tree and desiring the tree. And he went up and told her. He didn't make her do it. He gave her a suggestion. He put enough in her head to make her think, oh man, I'm not even going to die today. He told her, surely the Most High Yah, he won't kill you. He just knows that the day you eat of this fruit, you're going to be like him. We were already made in his image and likeness, so we are already like him. See, that was a deceptive tactic. But see, when you're out and your heart desires something other than Yah so much that you're staring and you're gazing at it and you're believing, oh man, I would just love to have that. <clears throat> I would just love to have the ways of the other nations. I would just love to do what they do. And Yah says, don't do it. And you go against the commandment. Oh, they died that day. What do you mean, brother? They didn't die that day. They still was alive. You know, Yah came down and he, he covered them with skins.
from the goat that was they died that day no 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 brother that's not what i've read in the scripture where are you getting that from one thousand years is as one day with yah and one thousand years is one day one day is one thousand years right adam lived to be i believe it was 930 years or 970 years i gotta go back and check that but anyway he did not live to see a thousand years he did not live to see truly one day for what yah calls one day he died that day why because y'all can't lie y'all can't lie Hasatan, satan the devil is known as the father of lies he's always going to lie he's that's what he's known for he's been deceiving the whole world in the whole world don't believe that they deceive I told, I told this the other day on a live that I did. See, nobody's going to come up to you and tell you, I'm going to deceive you. That's not how deception works. Deception works by manipulation, by subtle uh, things that are spoken or said or done that draws you over to that side of that individual, whoever is doing the suggestion. You see, you cannot tempt me with Christmas. The devil can't come and say, you know, keep Christmas. It's no big deal. <laughs> it's 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 the celebration. It's the reason for the season. It's the celebration of the sun. See, even the devil knows that that's not true. He can't cause me to go and keep no idolatrous and pagan worshiping of no so-called holidays of the other nations. Why? Because I know the origins and I know the truth of these other nations. And people don't seem to think it matters. Man, what difference does it make? It matters. That's not my intention. Why are you doing it on the same day? That's not the reason why I'm doing it. Then why are you doing it? Where in the scripture does it tell you that you say you live by tell you to do this? Well, it's not in the scripture. Why are you doing it? If it don't, <laughs> if it's not in the scripture, why are we doing it? See, the feast days in Leviticus 23, those are in the scripture. The one that people call Jesus in Christianity, he kept the feast. His disciples, apostles, they kept the feast. His followers kept the feast. So if they kept the feast, you keeping holidays, who are you following? The other nations. You're following the ways of the people who told you what to believe, what to do, what to think, how to act. You don't see them telling you the truth to keep the feast days because they have you believing that the Passover is Easter. There's nowhere in script that the Passover is Easter and Easter is Passover can't find that and you will not be able to find that anywhere in script because most of us don't understand excuse me <clears throat> the tactics of the enemy nor do we understand the importance of what he does who he's coming after he's coming after us to keep us in a cursed state to keep us separated from Yah but don't think that his day is not going to come to an end it will don't think for a moment that the most high Yah will not fulfill excuse me his prophetic word that he has spoken it's going to happen whether people believe me or not i already told many people you can reject me all you want you're not rejecting me in your mind you're rejecting the most high Yah. he's the only one who can allow you into the kingdom or toss you into the lake of fire and brimstone i can't do that i'm just a messenger i'm just sent to give the word i'm just one who reads who studies who hears from him to speak and to do the things that he tells me to do with love not with no hatred not with no ulterior motive not with no at the end of this message you know make sure you give me your tithe 
so that you can be blessed. I'm not here to give nobody no deception. I'm not here to harm nobody, to hurt nobody. I'm just here to try to help people get back to serving the one true Elohim according to the script. There's nowhere in the scripture that he told any of us that he would become the so-called God of Christians. That word God does not describe Elohim. That word wasn't even in existence. That word has been known to belong to all pagan deities. It has nothing to do with Yah. But yet they had us call, call on God. Call on who? Who are we calling on? Who was I unknowingly calling on? They didn't tell you to call on Elohim. They didn't tell you to call on the name of Yahuwah. They told you that his name was the Lord. That word Lord means Baal, a pagan deity. Does not mean the Most High Yah. Does not mean Yahuwah. Yet they had us following and doing things that God told us. He told us not to do it, but yet we end up doing it. And then we get mad at them for giving us. <laughs> we get mad at them for giving us their culture. We the ignorant ones who followed it. Because we did it out of ignorance. And we're still doing things out of ignorance to this day. But yet too many of us have this big ego to where we can't allow ourselves the opportunity to get the truth, to know the truth, so that we can live by the truth. And that's the tough part for most people, is that when they hear this truth, it troubles them. Because you grew up hearing this, believing this. You believed in that white Jesus on your wall. They gave you an image to believe in. I grew up with that image on my wall. With the little sun glow behind his head. That deals with sun worship. They told you don't keep the Shabbat. No, we worship on Sunday. Sun worship. That's what Sunday means. Represents from the soul evictus. <clears throat> from worshiping rather the pagan deity soul invictus which emperor constantine who was a pagan from ad uh, 325 in the council of nicaea where they got together with these bishops from around the world and they instituted that foolishness to this very day people are still keeping sunday worship aren't they i used to practice sunday worship unknowingly ignorantly doing something that yah said don't ever do Told us in Deuteronomy chapter 4 not to worship the sun, the moon, or the stars. But yet they had us doing sun worship. That came from the other nations. That didn't come from Yah. Yah told, Yah told us not to do something, and then we end up doing it. And say that we still serving him on that same day. Or it don't matter about the days. That's a lie because the Shabbat shows and reveals, <clears throat> excuse me, who the most high Yah people truly are. The Shabbat is something that we are supposed to keep forever. But yet people say it doesn't matter. Everything doesn't matter. That does matter. And my job is to give you what matters. As much and as often as the Most High Yah gives me opportunity to speak. So I got to go. Until next time, I thank y'all for joining me. Eric and was it Tracy. I thank y'all for taking the time this morning just to be able to listen and to hear what I had to say. So I say shalom to y'all, to the 12 tribes that are scattered all over the world, according to the book of James chapter 1, verse 1. It's there. It doesn't say to the Christians at all. Matter of fact, that word Christianity you can't find in your Bible. That word Bible you can't even find in that word Bible in your Bible. But that's for another day. Or just go and look at my other videos. I talk about all these things I just mentioned at the end of this video. 
So take care until next time. And I will be praying for the Most High Yah's people that they come to the truth, repent, return back to Yah. If you have any questions, please message me about anything I've spoken or said or that's on your heart. Any questions that you may have, I don't care what it is. Just hit me up. I'll get back to you. I promise I will. Share this video with everybody that you know. Everybody on your contact list. Get this information out because it's vitally important. It's vitally important. Because I wouldn't be on here speaking about it if it wasn't. I'm not on here to teach foolishness, talk about foolishness, waste people's time. It's not me. It's not what I do. It's not what I'm sent to do. So take care. As I said, until next time, I say I love y'all and shalom.